It's really, Pesa. it really is Pesa, Pesa Squad. I don't know why I reverted. It actually is Pesa Squad because it's Monday. So today we are talking about um, financial responsibility, right? And specifically, we are talking about caring for parents. Is it a responsibility for you as the child or you as the, you know, um, the one who was taken care of by the parent? Is it a responsibility to take care of them financially? Did we hit the streets? To be financially independent. Um, my dad always told me he has his, he'll take care of himself. So it's my duty to look for mine and make sure I'm also stable when I'm older. I think the African parents, or even personally me, mm -hmm. we've been raised conditioned to when we grow up, we are taking care of our parents, you know. So we're never raised to be financially stable because we're never given all the skills and the tools to know what financially stable means but you're raised to know the minute you give like the minute you grow up you're automatically taking care of your parents or your siblings or even the whole family members because even when you see um you'll get your uncle asking you for money your aunt asking you for money constantly that's how i think we've been conditioned to to think when you grow up a design and by the crafting and the sculpturing of the nature, it is quite worthwhile and it's going to be quite a non preposterous phenomenon to understand the fact that we are raised to help our parents. As in the society, there is a law of compensation and nothing goes for free. It is either you help them or not. As Socrates once said, I wish those people that are ordinary had unlimited ability of doing bad, then they will have unlimited capacity and power of doing good. Therefore, we are raised to help our parents in old age, for they cannot fend for themselves. There is always the optimum point, the beginning and the end, because one day we will also require to do that. Therefore, as I would say, that we cannot be frightened by the economic status of the hobgoblin nature of the society as far as the Elan and the trivial windend of various of the cascades of the scenario is concerned. It is hope God please to help your parents. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't know, I, didn't, I didn't expect Pielo Lumumba to talk to us on Chatsport today, but we're very happy for that. Thank you, Pielo. Um, <laughs> okay, so, yes. David Cairo. So what, <laughs> so what we're asking is basically, should is it a responsibility or is it a choice? And personally, I feel like there's no way as a, as, a, as a child you're going, even though you're a grown-up, you're not going to let your parents suffer or like <laughs> your parents suffer. You're going to do what you can for them. Don't do like, don't exp they can't be living in like a mansion because, of, yeah, you know, I took care of you. I did a BCD. They can't be asking for ridiculous things and even you're not making that amount of money. There are some people who choose not to help their parents. Man. They're like, Maze, me ni kopeke angu, wo kopeke ako. <laughs> let's do this thing. And of course, there's situations where, you know, your parents don't need you to financially, you know, like help them, which is a, which is a blessing, like on its own. But I honestly believe it's a choice because someone can choose not to help their parents no matter what their parents did for them. Even though you lived five people in a one bedroom and she managed to take you to school until university and you decide not to help her, that's on you, bro. Like, your karma is going to come. But I don't think your parents should force you to help them. Yeah, yeah because mm -hmm. there's actually there's a video I saw of uh, Ace Hood. He was having a conversation with his mom and you know they were talking about how you know once he left the label he didn't have as much money but she still expected the cars and the houses and the, all of that stuff and i feel like this happens a lot with um single moms and sons they just expect their sons to help them regardless of what they're financially doing or what they need that money for yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i i feel like Honestly speaking, we have an innate responsibility as, as kids to take care of our loved ones if they are sick. But there definitely has to be limits. I, yeah. I think what you're talking about yeah. is, is like the limits. Because if I'm not in a position to give, then I, I cannot give yeah. what I don't have. Yeah. But then it's still very ethical mm -hmm. to, to want to help your parents. True. Again, we are going to age at some uh, at some point. We're mm -hmm. going to be old enough and we would love the same given to us. Mm -hmm. So according to us. So at the end of the day, let's just... 
Yeah. But you know, there's some parents who them. actually whether they like, were good or bad, because yeah. then there's toxic rela- yeah. relationships where a person has a toxic relationship with their parent, mm. and then you you be like, ah, Jane, idea to buy, but then just this idea too, because mm. you have an innate responsibility mm. to help this person. Yeah, that's, because that's I was I about to say, because there are some parents who expect to be taken care of when once they grow old, like yeah. their kids have to take care of me, and uh, like that's why I keep saying like some situations like for me, I'm I, like I'm so lucky like that has never happened because yeah. my dad was always the breadwinner for the entire family. He's taken like my cousins to school he took care of his parents so he's never wanted the same for us like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when my kids go grow old they're taking care of me they're like no nah, man you go build your own yeah. Yeah. yeah then there's also the point that the first person mentioned mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, you find that most parents for instance Pia Mimi Babangu mm-hmm. he will tell you time and again mm-hmm. Mimi sikusaidi ndio unisaidi exactly yeah. you see yeah. sikusaidi ndio unisaidi mm-hmm. I want you to help yourself exactly. but at the end of the day it's, it should be your responsibility yep. yeah. unaangalia unasema this Just what you can you know yeah. these guys are the ones who walini walini saidia una check ni parondi ya kuoneage mabaya yeah you see yeah. Joyce unaweza niambia kitu mm. but niko like ai mbona aende US kabla mimi yeah. Yeah. lakini nakuambia eh hey, US yay yeah. minion nini nini vile wasichana mnaambiana hapa siku hizi yeah. yeah but at the end of the day ni mzazi ndio kutakia mema. Absolutely. Mm. So guys, you can let us know do you think it's a responsibility or is it a choice? Triple one, triple four, triple one is our SMS line. We're going to take a very short commercial break when we come back our guests are in studio. Welcome back. If you just joined Karibu sana, let me just sample a few of your feedback from our Facebook page. Mtu anaitwa Binti Suleiman anasema Uh, mbona atupati na mimi nashangaa mbona utupati aje na tuko hapa tumerudi uh, Kenyan Carbon anasema Cedric sasa jumu lishinda tutapumua na sisi watu wa Chelsea hutulia tukishinda na na mambo si nimekumisu kikam naivasha na King December nyama choma na cold coca cola kwa bili yangu thank you so much attendant from Naivasha mwingine anasema Deno anasema welcome back representing Kayole massive watu wa Oyole thank you so much for tuning in Frank anasema love you ladies Joyce my all time crush gote baby boy baby boy amegoteka ame uh, patia amesema mi pati njoroge amesema mi karibu ni rushe mawe na na was almost coming to your premises to ask what went wrong we missed you guys manze na na you inspire me your soul strength and a fearless woman we celebrate you thank you so much really thank you appreciate um sarah kense anasema watching from lemuru and then aka, aka hashtag monday muse like you know bona msemi muse wenu ni nani we'd love to know uh v moli amesema na na ile nduru nimepiga huku last week wacha anyway welcome back and you guys are welcome welcoming us back we totally love it and here for it but of course you know what time is it is because we have our guests in, sta- in studio it's time for on this part